What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back of course playing around a little bit more with the water mod. I've really been enjoying this mod, actually the wings mod too a little bit but uh, not in this episode. But I've been really enjoying playing around with those two mods in particular, especially on this lovely world here. And one of the things I wanted to show was this awesome little sort of car here. So I decided to go along and play along a little bit more with the water mod and do a little bit more testing and in fact... By the end of this episode, we're going to take this vehicle here and with just a few slight modifications, we'll drive it across the surface of the water and hopefully make it to that island over there. But in the meantime, I decided to build this vehicle, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, I haven't really done too many transforming vehicles in my time, so I decided to have my go at, you know, making a sort of transforming, I guess, uh, car boat. Boat car, amphibi car, I don't I don't know what they're called. There's like all sorts of different names for them. But I decided to make this thing here. So you see we've got the two propellers on the back. We've got wheels and, uh, you know, we can drive. It's rear wheel drive and front wheel steering. Of course, it has a WSAD converter in it. I didn't use any scripted blocks. This uses simply the uh, buoyancy mod just to get the floating blocks. But it's a sweet little vehicle. And of course, we've got the two props up top, and uh, we'll just drive it right into the water. It's so cool. And we can just, you know, sort of drive right in there, and uh, it just kind of goes under a little bit. Perfect. And uh, we float nicely. Now, we can still move forward a little bit. The wheels actually float. If you put the buoyancy block on your creation, they actually added a few more blocks to the buoyancy mod. Another one which uh, creates a local buoyancy field rather than the entire creation, so only stuff that's attached to the block itself and not stuff that's attached through bearings because we have a single buoyancy block on this creation these wheels will actually float and as we rotate them they'll actually move us and so you see we can stop and we can go backwards and they get like a very small uh, amount of grip or it's like gyroscope force i i really don't know why they move to be perfectly honest but regardless we're just going to press the one button here and switch into boat mode you can see the wheels just kind of folding and getting tucked away nicely and of course those props coming up and now we've got you know, much more speed, much more capability. It doesn't go too fast. Oh boy, that was kind of weird. Uh, okay, yeah, don't know what happened there. But it doesn't go too fast. I mean, it, it drives pretty decently. We're just gonna we're just gonna slow down with that rocking stop. I have no idea what just happened there. Sometimes the transforming functions get glitched out. I mean, it is scrap mechanic and it is bearings, and scrap mechanic doesn't really like bearings or moving creations or creations with a lot of bearings but of course we can go right back up onto land so we'll just drive straight at the land and uh just kind of perfect and oh boy the front wheels are stuck front wheels are front wheels are stuck they see this is the there oh one got there we go okay uh we're we're no we don't we're back in the water yeah no perfect perfect phenomenal gaming experience uh, it's working 100% as intended. The transforming in this game, it kind of gets weird. There's tons of space for them. They're not getting glitched in any way, and they're not, like, stuck it together or anything like that. And there's, there's no collisions happening or anything. It's just the way this game works sometimes. So we're just gonna, we're gonna try it over here. A little bit shallow of a shoreline. There we go. We'll drive right up. And, uh, okay, we got two wheels that came out. Perfect. Perfect. This is, this is great. We can just drive off here. All right, so we're just going to drive straight back at the land here, and we'll see if we can, uh, you know, get this to deploy properly. It's so weird. It's so finicky. There's tons of space and stuff, but it's really random sometimes which ones decide to deploy and which ones don't. All right, here we go. The front two. Oh, that back one. Okay, let's just let's just flick it a few times. Like, what is it? What is it jammed on? There's nothing that it could be possibly jammed on. It just decided. There we go. Perfect. It's really unfortunate. I, I really wish the game was fixed a little bit more in that sense. But for some reason, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. I guess it's because there's suspension on this car. I really wanted to have suspension as well. And you can see a double bearing steering system. So it's really just a simple sort of setup. If we actually just take a look at one of these arms, it's uh, it just swings down from underneath. And it first slides out on the piston so it can actually have room to swing in and out. And then it just swings down the suspension piece and then it goes up to two bearings which steer it and then back into this bearing. But for some reason, the transforming function really just gets stuck. I mean, it's not too big a deal. You can always just put it on the lift and then it usually transforms right away after you take it off the lift. But for some reason, it drives no problem as a car and it seemingly can always transform into boat mode. But after you've been driving around as a boat for a bit, when you go back to land, it just doesn't seem to uh, to want to transform. Uh, is it going to... Okay, front two. Let's just keep back two. Come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Jammed out. 
problem solved. It's those pistons. I don't understand what's wrong. So I am going to upload this car to the workshop. I think it's a pretty cool car. I mean, obviously the transforming doesn't work all the time, you know, but it did take a long time. I haven't really made too many transformers before. And you can see if we, we look at it slowly, actually. So you can see the back end, uh, the front, yeah, just got... That's great. Go got stuck. Perfect. We press one. It extends the pistons out, rolls the tires down, and then slots them back into place. And you can see there they have tons of room. They're not interfering. And if we turn, the double bearing there will turn no problem. And then on the back end here, we've just got a straight axle with a double bearing to rotate forward and rotate in reverse. And then, of course, on the front, we've just got some nice little covers there that retract with the pistons just to sort of, you know, cover up those body panels, get rid of the holes there make it look a little bit cleaner and then on the back the props just rotate up and into position and then of course the whole thing's hooked up through a ws converter with a bunch of and gates so when you're in driving mode only the wheels work and then when you go into boat mode the wheels don't work anymore and instead you have steering on the props right here at the back and of course the thrust on the props as well which activates an engine so i really like this build i wish the transforming worked better but i don't think there's really anything I can do on the creation. I mean, we could make it so that these have tons of space around them, but then what's the point? You kind of want them to be flush. Like there's not any interference going on here and they're supposed to go straight out and then flip down. But for some reason, just the way the physics work, it doesn't always work that way. But regardless, still a really cool design. And of course I will upload it to the workshop for you guys if you want to try it. It is a little bit weird sometimes, but you know, I think it works okay. Sometimes of course the boat flips over just the way the drag blocks are and it'll float upside down. But overall, still a pretty cool vehicle but of course let me know what you think in the comments down below i always like reading your comments and suggestions and uh, i love hearing what you guys have to think and we're kind of stuck here can we just we'll just can we we'll just deploy it no that back right wheel's stuck okay i mean maybe if i made this without the suspension it would work a lot better but it definitely drives a lot smoother with suspension so i don't i don't really know can we just can, can that back one just flip out there we go perfect right when we flip over so before we go i wanted to show you guys some weird stuff that happens when you use the water block and wheels and i was actually playing around with it for a completely different reason for that car boat it wasn't even at all related to the car boat but you know i was playing around with it and then i realized we can actually take a vehicle just like this so this humvee is uh is made of concrete and you can see there we can drive right under the water and it has no water block on it and even if we put a couple of water blocks on it and we'll need some drag blocks as well and we'll get you know what we'll get more wheels and just by using more wheels we'll make the absolutely insane happen but some weird stuff happens and i wanted to show you guys because i really didn't know what to think of it and i i didn't really know if it could be controlled but if we take uh this vehicle we put three drag blocks on the front and and the two things there and we'll just put three on the back as well so it's six total I mean, I don't know if it, it'll do. The drag blocks work in air as well. They actually create a drag force no matter what. Like, it doesn't seem to matter if you're in water or not. You don't have to submerge them. At least that's what I've found. But if we drive underwater here, you'll see uh, pretty much nothing floats. I mean, the back end, I think, might start to float a little bit. You can kind of feel it. The wheel, maybe a little bit. But if we add more wheels, and this is crazy. These wheels are so incredibly powerful. And I think we only need three per side. And this is why... We could easily make some sort of a six-wheeled vehicle that floats and then give, you know, a little bit of buoyancy blocks in the hull. But I'm pretty sure this is enough. And we can just drive very, very slowly onto the surface of the water. And there we go. Look at that. We're actually driving on the surface of the water here now. And if we give it some throttle, you got to be very, very careful. You can see we can actually move. And if we turn, uh, we should be able to actually steer here. And you can see now we're just, we're just driving. It's like, um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. We're, oh boy, no, that was too much. If the wheels spin too fast, see the gyro force pulls it under the water and then you get this really, really quick burst of speed in that direction. It's almost like the wheels trying to like blast off. I I, I don't know, we'll, watch, we'll go full speed here. We just go full speed and uh, and look, look at how fast we're gonna go here. It, we're just kind of drifting. I don't, yeah, we just, I don't understand what it does. Okay, hold on, we'll just, we'll get back over here, flip it, there we go. So look at, look at, look at this. I don't know. Look at, we're just like, it's like a drifting. I don't understand what's causing the wheels. I mean, I'd love, if you guys have a, a reason as to why this is happening, let me know in the comments down below. Th there's a gyroscope force on the wheels normally in the game, and you can make a flyer that uses wheels spinning to control it, but it's usually not this powerful. But with this, you can kind of like, you know, you can dance the car almost. Like, I mean, we kind of, the wheel, the steering is really flimsy, but you can see we can actually kind of control it. And if we press up, we'll tilt one way. There we go. And uh, if we press down, we'll tilt the other way. And the wheels are flopping. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good. Are we going to 
See, like, we're just, I don't understand how this, I don't understand what's happening. I really, I don't, I don't, I don't understand, I, I don't know how, I don't know how to control this. But anyways, guys, I am curious, of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below of this awesome, uh, you know, breakdancing vehicle. I encourage you to try it out, though. Take the water mod and, uh, you know, spawn a vehicle, put some tires on it, and try and understand just how the tire movement controls it. I really don't understand what the script is doing to make, like, I mean, look, we're picking up speed so fast i just don't understand how it's doing this but i am curious to hear what you guys think well i don't think we're ever going to actually make it back to the island i've been I'm trying we're just we're just not going to do it i really love these cool mods the functional mods that are happening i just i just think they're great there's so many cool things that uh that we can build and uh yeah 720 no problem no problem uh no problem perfect perfect per perfect perfect but anyways, of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all next time.